Welcome back to the Healing Chamber podcast. This is Layla Rose. And so the title today is The Seven Chakras Are the Levels of Life's Video Game. What do I mean by that? <laughs> um, I had this download recently about the different levels of consciousness and understanding the matrix and how to navigate life <laughs> in a more mindful, conscious way. So I don't know if this is something that you also realized on your journey or this is something that just makes sense as we're talking about it today. Um, but yeah, there are seven different levels of consciousness on this planet, on earth. And I would say the biggest mistake that I see, and this is also something that I've been through a few years ago, once we... Um, go through a dark night of the soul or a spiritual awakening, however you want to call it, right? When you step into this level of awareness, right? You become aware of, you know, <laughs> of the truth of of this realm. When you become aware of the lies, uh, the corruption, however you want to call this, usually the the first mistake that I see is that People want to learn more about the truth. They want to learn more about politics and how it works and all the corruption and they want to dig, right? Which is a normal human thing. That's your ego trying to find answers to all these questions, right? Um, but the thing is, if you're doing this without a balanced and grounded root which is usually not the case when you go through a spiritual awakening usually whatever work job you were doing it's usually not aligned with your life purpose which is why you're getting awakened um, obviously this is not applicable for everybody but this is just for the masses like for the majority of people so when you go, you go through this spiritual awakening, usually your root is not balanced. It's not grounded. Um, and so when you, you start to go into this rabbit hole of information and, you know, conspiracy theories, whatever, however you want to call this, um, you're basically using your third eye to do that. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of people go into the psychosis or... Not necessarily to that extreme, but usually it's more about they get confused about what is true and what is not true. And that's usually a main symptom of having an overactive, you know, third eye and not having the, the basics of life, you know, really grounded. So usually the thing that we have to do, again, this is coming through my download. This is also something that I had to do in my personal journey as well once we go through this spiritual awakening the first thing to do is to work with the root so the themes that are related to the root are learning how to have discipline structure uh, we also want to do shadow work as well of course to clear all these inner child programs of you know feeling this need of being saved um Another inner child program that's usually very common is the fear of being seen as well or feeling like there's going to be some sort of savior or that, you know, the government is more powerful than you or they're coming for you. Um, usually when the root is on balance and we can have wealth or not, right? Um, it's usually different. So when someone already has wealth and they have their root on balance, usually they're going to feel like someone is out there for them. Someone is out there to get their money. There's like gold diggers, you know, hiding <laughs> in the bushes, you know, waiting to take your wealth. And it's, it's kind of like this paranoia of, you know, being taken advantage of, basically. Again, this is an inner child program because when you have... Um, solid boundaries and you have an open heart um, you don't attract people who wants to to take advantage of you or at least if you see them you can recognize them and, and not it's not coming from a place of your ego distorting the reality distorting you know your vision 
but again you don't attract these types of people when you're very grounded and balanced because you repel them <laughs> they can feel that you're so grounded in who you are and you're very stable um and even when you give it's from a place of overflow so you can be taken advantage of basically and so if you don't have wealth or you know if you're so operating from the poverty consciousness and you also have an unbalanced root tra- chakra usually what happens is that there's this um, anger towards people that have wealth there's this envy as well maybe jealousy sometimes but it's usually anger uh, that i see and this is something that i've noticed within the masses um, even you know when you go on tiktok and you scroll when i look in the comments when i see you know some type of luxury right that's being displayed in a video usually when you go in the comments you can feel <laughs> i can feel the anger in the comments and you know people saying things like must be nice uh, or, you know, that's daddy's money, like whatever uncalled comment <laughs> is there, you know, it's usually a, a symptom of having an unbalanced root chakra, obviously without the resources. So because the seven chakras represents the seven levels of this video game that we're in, it makes it really simple now to understand, you know, how to go through your journey and making sure that you're building this really strong foundation for yourself. And obviously, as we dive deeper into this process, you know, and this is something that I teach within the Hathor Mystery School, we also want to make sure that we use the law of polarity when it comes to relationship, right? Because um, that's also another mistake that I see, you know, especially with feminine women. Because of the matrix, the, the, how society is built, we do have to use our masculine energy a lot, especially if we're single, because, you know, this is how the system is built. You have to, you know, work or, you know, find a way to get money to pay your bills. If you have kids, then you have to be the protector, provider, and also the nurturer, you know, so it takes a lot of masculine energy. The issue here is that most people are unconscious of this and they get into the dating world or they start, you know, connecting with men, right? Or people, whatever that you're dating. Um, And so what happens is that if you're naturally feminine, but you've been using your masculine energy a lot, when you're going to start dating someone or talking to someone, you're going to subconsciously act like a man, right? And so it's going to be, it's going to repel the masculine energy if you're already in your masculine energy, right? Men are not looking for a competition. They're looking for a mate that will complete them, that will have them the opposite traits of them, right? Um, Think about like a a magnet, right? That's what we want to create. And so by being mindful and conscious of that, you know, so it, it goes so beyond the seven chakras and the seven levels. It's like, you know, you want to make sure that you do have this strong foundation in your life and you do have consistency and whatever, like you, that your masculine and feminine energies are both balance within you but you have to be mindful that when you're interacting with other people especially when it comes to romance you really want to step if you're a feminine woman you really want to step into this feminine energy and it's energy you can't fake it you can wear heels a dress and as much makeup as you want if you're in your masculine energy it's still going to repel masculine men um but again, that's going to be in for another episode more about relationships and conscious dating and, you know, love. Um, but again, I just wanted to mention that it's so much deeper than that. But again, this is the basics. Like if you can master, you know, the foundation in your life, having, you know, consistency and discipline and structure. This is something that I notice, especially in the spiritual community when it comes to women. There's an overflow of feminine energy right especially if you're into tarot and you're very connected with the spiritual realm i'm sorry um it can be i don't know how how to say that you can easily step into this energy of being 
too feminine as well so it's it's really this dance it's it's an energetic dance that we have to master and it's a lifestyle it's a practice it's not something that you just do once and you know you're good you're good to go um but let me know in the comments what you think about this concept of you know understanding the seven chakras the seven energetic centers that we have as these seven levels of life and let me know if this resonates. Let me know if you want to add something as well to this topic. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next episode.